Hi, I'm Nathaniel and after this last video I'm wondering, is Kalman filtering all we need to compute good probabilistic ODE solutions? So Nico has shown us in the previous video that we can set up a nonlinear regression problem in such a way that the solution to this regression problem is a probabilistic ODE solution. And because we chose Gauss-Markov processes as our priors, we can compute these solutions efficiently with, for instance, the extended Kalman filter. But let's have a look at what happens inside this probabilistic ODE solver. So this animation shows such a probabilistic ODE solver. It starts on the left side um, at the initial time point and iteratively extrapolates and adjusts this extrapolation in order to satisfy the ODE. And we can see that the solver is able to find the correct solution trajectory. But we also see that the extrapolations of the solver, shown as these colored dashed lines, are often quite accurate, but the uncertainties are very high. So the uncertainties don't, do not accurately reflect the error of the solver. As it turns out, um, there is a free parameter in our prior process um, called the diffusion, which directly influences these uncertainties. And this parameter needs to be estimated to, be, to provide calibrated uncertainties. And even more, we can model it in a number of different ways. Um, and here we show it modeled by a step function and we see how the probabilistic solver becomes more flexible and how the uncertainties can adapt to the solution trajectory. And now that we have calibrated uncertainty estimates, we can also use the probabilistic model to compute estimates of the local approximation error. And similarly to classic ODE solvers, we can use these local errors um, with control algorithms to adaptively select the step size of the solver. And in this example, we can see how this often makes the probabilistic solver much more efficient in practice. So to summarize, to compute probabilistic ODE solutions with calibrated uncertainties in a way that is computationally efficient, we need a bit more than just Kalman filtering. Thanks. <laughs>